Hey there, everybody. We are here conducting our somewhat lengthy investigation. This is the eighth video of investigation. We've been investigating for about an hour. So I think pretty soon we will finish our investigation and then we'll have the trial. But first, let's talk to Luke Atme, Ace Detective. Zabari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me! Luke, don't you remember us? Oh boy. Okay, fine. Let's talk to him about everything. He was on guard duty the night of the robbery. And he's not a very good guard because the thief stole the urn. The Tear of Eminon. Aww. Ah, we have a psych lock. In case you don't remember, psych locks are things. They appeared in the second Phoenix Wright game, and it looks like we will be able to talk to them and get a little bit of recap, which explains what a psych lock is. Okay, psych lock. Really, Maya? You don't know? Was Maya there when we solved psych locks in the previous game? Yeah, seriously! Okay, so let's try this out. Present the Magatama. Alright, so the proof we need 
is the camera data. is unconscious. And we have evidence. Remember the sword? It was used to hit somebody. So presumably that somebody is Detective Atme. Mask to mask hit him upside the head, and he fell unconscious and that's why he was unable to capture the criminal. And that explains why the sword moved from one side of the room to the other. Yeah, this is a pretty good explanation. Way to go, Phoenix. In the psych lock, which means he is going to give us some brand new conversations. should have his head examined. No, he's not. So if he never saw the thief, the thief could be somebody different, which will totally get our client off the hook at his trial tomorrow. Let's see the picture. Oh no. Yep, that's Mask to Mask, alright. Although it's a fancy costume, so maybe it's somebody else dressed up as Mask to Mask, right? That's gotta be our defense line. That's definitely what Phoenix is going to be saying at the trial tomorrow, right? in his room. How do you know about this? 